Residents at a mobile home park in Castro Valley thought they were protected by Alameda County's rent control law, but the property owners are now trying to pass a huge rent hike. John Ramis explains how they may be using a loophole to pull it off. In Alameda County, when is a mobile home not a mobile home? When the park owner is trying to raise the rent. The sign outside says Avalon Mobile Home Park, but when the Castro Valley property was purchased earlier this year by Three Pillar Communities, letters were sent to residents raising rents, in some cases doubling them, despite the fact that Alameda County has a mobile home rent control ordinance limiting increases to 5% per year. I mean, we found out this corporation has 70 parks throughout the states and they've done the exact same thing at every single park. We've, we've talked to other parks and we've been doing our homework. It's just something they do. At Avalon, the company is trying to get around the rent control by claiming the homes are actually recreational vehicles, not subject to the ordinance. In a statement, Three Pillar co-founder David Weisfeld said, this only applies to recreational vehicles, which are not permanent residences. The park owner raised rent to less than the fair market value and voluntarily offered rental assistance to anyone who is unable to afford the new rent amount. To be sure, some look like RVs, but this is what Judy Espinoza's recreational vehicle looks like. The one bedroom, one bath manufactured home is anchored to the ground for earthquake safety. I bought this house with my husband with our retirement savings. This is all we had and we made it our home, hooked it to the ground. We can't move it. It's the same problem faced by all mobile home owners. They own the structure, but not the ground under it, which means if the rent is hiked, they have no practical way to go anywhere else. Appearing on a podcast, Weisfeld said it's what makes mobile home parks such a profitable venture for investors. I mean, we have a very stable cash flow profile because our residents are homeowners, right? They own their home, they've got skin in the game. Our typical tenancy is close to 10 years in our portfolio. Um, so I just love that the fact that we're providing high quality affordable housing that I feel really good about and also that just that stability of income. The problem is doubling the rent is making the housing unaffordable for most of the residents. The company also owns a seniors only park in Petaluma called Youngstown that is also rent controlled. In that case, Three Pillar is suing Petaluma in federal court, claiming its ordinances violate a constitutional guarantee to a fair and reasonable return on their investment. I believe that was their goal before they bought, and I believe that will be their goal to entice investors across the United States to them under um, the premise that they'll be able to get rid of rent stabilization ordinances senior park overlays and anything that stands in their way at making extraordinary profits. Back at Avalon, the residents are gearing up for a fight of their own. Oh, damn right. These people that are standing right here are very feisty. They're good to go. You know what I mean? We're going to put on our boxing gloves and we're going to fight like we never fought before. But Judy can't help wondering what will happen if they don't win. Does it feel hopeless to you? Like yes, absolutely. I'm just it's affecting all of our health, it's our well-being. We just, it's a whole livelihood and they're taking it away. In this case, affordable housing will only be for those who can afford to pay more. The homeowners say the county won't enforce its ordinance without a proper legal challenge that will require a lawyer's help and they're looking into what free assistance might be available to them.